What is up? It's a figure hunter and happy holidays. Now this is going to be a very off the beaten path video and I'm going to tell you why I'm making it in a second. So not a device review as I normally do. And before I get started, I want to give a shout out to Anna and Gabby for being part of the inspiration for why I'm making this as well as to O21 Originals sweatshirts who sent me a couple sweatshirts. They're not sponsoring this video in any way, but they sent me a couple sweatshirts and I'm going to feature them at one point in the midpoint of the review. But this is a video for how to turn a wine bottle into a glass. And the reason I'm making this video is for two reasons. Every year I like making gifts for people for a Christmas gift. And so this was my project for the year. I made multiple glasses and it was so easy that I thought I'd make a video. But the second reason is because I have probably tried to cut properly, like to get a precise cut on I don't know, a hundred bottles and the first 60 just were a complete problematic mess. And so this is a video for actually how to effectively and consistently get a bottle to cut with a smooth cut line so that you can sand it down and make your own glassware set or cups for people or vases or whatever you want to do. So I had a complete failure success rate for a long time of trying a multiple of different methods I saw on YouTube. And so this one was 95%, I probably only cracked in some odd way, one out of 20 bottles, and that is a super high success rate. So this video has everything from start to finish for how to prep the bottle, score it, cut it, sand it. So I'm just showing you all of my process because it's been consistent, it's been easy, and I just thought I'd share it with you. Number one, how to effectively remove the label. So that actually was its own little process to figure out how to get a, all the gook off from a label removal. So I'll show you how I did that. Number two, how to score the bottle, how to prep it. So cut a little line in it with a you know little bottle scorer, bottle cutter. Three, how to get the bottle to split just using hot water and cold water. Four, my simple sanding technique, which does not go through a multiple of sanding grit levels, but just uses 80 coarse sanding and the bottles come out, in my opinion, smooth and easy to use. And then five, just the massive amount of results that I was able to have. So I'll say before getting into it, that method is key. I have used two different bottle cutters. So two different generic cutters from Amazon. I'll put links in the description below for where you can find some of these things as well as you can, where you can pick up an O21 original sweatshirt, but it, the method has been far more access, successful than the particular bottle scorer or cutter. So with that, let's dive in. Okay, step one is getting the label off. That's the most fundamental thing. I got like a $10 pitcher off Amazon and I just put water in here so it stays under submerged and then, so I literally just do a random amount in here and I just sort of pump it in. So it's nice and soapy. And then I'll just sort of get the soap going, mix it up. And then while it's filling up, then I'll put the bottle in, fill the bottle up for a little while and then fill it I all the way. I have to leave it like this for 24 hours. I find that the glue really comes apart at least 24 hours later, and then it peels off or it easily scratches off with a butter knife. Even that sort of sticky residue underneath. I have to leave it like this for 24 hours. I find that the glue really comes apart at least 24 hours later, and then it peels off or it easily scratches off with a butter knife, even that sort of sticky residue underneath the label. Now, I said I'd give a shout out to 021 or 021, but I think 021 Originals sweatshirt for sending me samples. It is the softest sweatshirt I've ever worn. This specifically is the split hem hoodie and graphite, so it actually is a little bit long and it's got the split hem, duh. Um, but the thing that's unique about it is it's got that sort of micro fleece soft, like a lot of the blankets are coming in at now. So it's like the softest sweatshirt on the inside, plus it's also super comfortable. It's not the cheapest sweatshirt, but to me, it's the best quality. It's my go-to now that the winter months are here and just had to give a shout out. So thanks for sending a couple samples. Okay, so when you get it out of the water, some of them have labels that are just like this. They just sort of peel right off. I mean, like completely come off. And then others have labels where you have to take a razor blade and scratch them off, but you want to let it soak because the something about the dish soap breaks down the stickiness. So the stickiness comes completely off. Now for the cutters themselves, I have used two different kinds. So I have like a flimsy sort of small plexiglass one 
with like the scoring element at the tip there. And you just adjust these screws to make it, you know, longer. And then I've used, this is the fancier one, but it's not expensive. I think it's like, I think it was $27 when I bought it. I don't know what they are now. And I'll put a link down below, but it's got these wheels on there. It's got a lot more adjustment room and it's just got a lot sturdier feel to it. Now, ironically, I have cut equally as many bottles with this. I've never replaced the glass scoring element. I've never had to do that. And I've probably cut a hundred bottles total with these two. I've used this most of the time, but what I would do, especially when I was building like a bottle collection is I would keep this at a certain distance for short glasses. And I keep this at a certain distance for long glasses. Um, but these are the two elements. Again, it didn't turn out to be dependent on which of these I used to get a good, clean, smooth crack in the bottle, break in the bottle. Um, but I just wanted to show them directly. Okay, so you just get it basically in this. I like to have the bottle dry and I like to be really careful once I've gotten the measurements to push smoothly and slowly. And if I feel like it doesn't cut in one section, I'll just barely back up and then go over that one section. Because if you have a gap in your cut, it will uh, potentially crack. So just very carefully rotate the bottle all the way around until you hear a different scratching noise when it gets to the other side. So you hear that extra loud scratching noise. So now I've got a, a full score is what it's called. The other trick is, are these things, these bands, for some reason, it, and I don't know if this actually has a lot of, this is, you know, again, why I get perfect cuts. The bands, I think, hold the temperature in a certain area. So I'll basically just peel the band up to some amount above the cut and then some amount above or below. I don't really, I'm not paranoid about like how much above or below. Um, and then, so like, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with like the score just sort of in the middle of the bands, you know, because I feel like it focuses the temperature of the hot on top of uh, just the line that you want to have get super hot and then cool it down. Okay, so this is a thinner bottle. Yeah, there's not a gap in any of the score and it should crack within two passes. So I'm just going to do a light little bead of hot boiling water just all along the side, just doing like two passes just to make sure that the all parts of the glass along the score line are heated up. I'm just doing a slight trickle because it doesn't need a lot. It just needs to get right in that little gap. And then I put the cold water on a slight trickle, rotate that around. Make sure it's getting all along the ridge line and then back to the hot. You can hear it crack sometimes. Second time around. And there you have it. So um, this has been a little bit odd. So earlier I did six glasses and I went hot, cold, and then on the hot, it basically separated itself. Sometimes if you know you've gone around a few times, hot and cold and hot, and you can see that there's slight, you know, that there's, there is some sort of change, then you can just pull it apart like I did there. And so you can see on this that there is full, heck, I'm going to turn this light on. There's full, like, smooth edges on the glass. It could basically fit exactly on top. There's no ridge. So for this, I always do the same thing. I'm just going to show you. I just put a little bit of water on. 80 coarse, no slip grip. And then I just let it down here and I always do the same exact thing. So that I rotate it like this. So when I look at the, the paper, so basically the exterior of this big circle, I'm going to grind out all the coarse sandpaper with the circle. And then I'm going to do the sides in the middle and then I'm going to do the inside with the edges. So I just do this for two minutes. Then once the exterior is got sort of the, all of it ripped off, I'm going to go with a slight angle, just a slight angle at first. 
to use the untouched middle still coarse area. And rotate the bottle. And once I've done that, I'm going to rotate it slowly up as I rotate it around. And then when it looks like I've worn off all the sand on the middle section, I'll take the edges starting from one corner and moving my way to the other corner and work on the inside of the glass. So I'll start with one edge. Okay, so once I get done with that, I've sort of covered all of the sandpaper for the most part. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna lightly hold it. I don't wanna wrap it around the sides because if you do that, it'll get scratches on the side of the glass. You wanna just lightly hold it to where just the squishy part of your hand is gonna create an additional smoothing edge. So I just grab it and do that. I don't, I don't squeeze all the way around. And I'll do it in one section, then I'll move the glass to a different section. And what you get at the end of the day is just the glass looks like this. So it's all smooth around the edge. I never touch it with anything else. So like I go from 80 sandpaper and I'm done. So the course, I don't like incrementally go 100, 150, 200, 2000. I feel like this is perfectly smooth. You can see that it has some still sort of glass, but nothing on there is going to hurt. And it just sort of has a smooth rounded edge to it. Oh, and the other thing I'll say is I always wear glasses of some type because, you know, you're dealing with glass. <laughs> okay, so the stupid reason I'm sharing this is simply because the method just works so well. So obviously this is the cutter, but you can see I just cut uh, six glasses and I just did them like in a row. I got like four glasses out of one full, you know, kettlebell or kettlebell, kettle of water, but they just came out like spot on. I thought I had to just share the, one of the most odd videos out there for how to effectively cut glass with like a $20 cutter. And then this is the same Chick-fil-A cup I've used forever because I just cut it top and it sort of like pours a little perfect line. And then these are the rings that come with the bottle cutter and just a generic old teapot. Um, but it just because it works so well. And just so you can see into my crazy, I made all sorts of different ones just because I was testing out different things. Um, I really liked the frosted glasses just for a regular mid-sized glass. But, you know, do I love them all? Ah, you know, it's mixed, but they're all functional. And it's as simple as that. Maybe that doesn't seem simple to you, but it seems simple to me, especially after all the headache that I've gone through before this. Again, to me, the cutter itself, the, the, the device you use to score the bottle is not the key part. It's all about the method. It's a meth, you know, the method that took time to figure out how to get all the sticky stuff off, the, how to you know, properly use the bands around the bottle to focus the heat and the cold so that it properly focuses on the score line and simple ways just to sand it down so that it's not a big complicated process to make it sort of drink ready. So with that, it's the Fit Gear Hunter. Thanks so much for watching.